On the Dan Nichol Show, we're very committed to social justice. We don't like sexism, we don't like racism, and we really don't like sizeism. And so today, I'm here at Snaith Racing to prove that you don't have to be some diminutive little character who only eats once a month to become a professional jockey. <laughs> So if I'm going to become a jockey, I need some support. Who better to go to for that support than my number one Cape Town colleague, Mr. Stuart Taylor. Hello, Dan. <laughs> Lovely to see you. Uh, and we've actually we've got a bit of background in horses, because I've we kind do. of worked out. We do. We've been to the JMB Met together four times. Exactly. And only on the third year did we realize it was about horse racing. <laughs> we never quite made it to the part where there are horses. <laughs> well, you're, you're looking reasonably confident about this, though. I'm not. I'm not. It's the fact that you see what I've realized with the Dan Nickel insert is that I don't need to be the best. I just need to be slightly better than you. <laughs> <laughs> and I do fancy my chances. <laughs> All right. So, so this is another I think what we're going to do, we're going to meet a jockey. Um, okay. I'm going to meet uh, John O'Snaith, who runs this entire operation. Lovely. Uh, find a little bit about how it works. Mm -hmm. And then I think we're actually going to get onto horses today. Are you up for that? Listen, I'm, uh, because they usually weigh the jockey, don't they? Which means that there might be weight restrictions on these things. <laughs> I'm not, you know, and it has been, it's post lockdown. <laughs> so that's a little bit worrying. <laughs> All right. So we've got to find some horses today based on the weight of the two of us. I suspect these might be horses with trucks. <laughs> It's a bitterly cold morning in Philippi. John O'Snaith, you dragged me out for this. This is this is HQ for Snaith Racing. With horses, you start at the crack of dawn and five o'clock in the morning, these guys are at work and uh, it's full steam ahead. It's uh, it's not uh, an easy job, and uh, but it's a rewarding one. What is the secret to creating a winning horse? It's just a lot of uh, nurturing of a young horse into sort of the, the, the stages that it gets into a race. It's not less lassoing a horse in the in the felt and the next thing it's in a race. So there's a a lot of long, tedious uh, process. The trainer's got to have a lot of patience. Jockeys, physios, farriers, you know, there's a lot of people that play an integral part into the end product of getting a horse to the track. Lots of discrimination in this space. Very few tall jockeys, John o. Snaith. Well, the, you, you'd have a chance, Dan. You reckon? Yeah. Generally, a jockey would weigh anything between 48 kilos and sort of 58 kilos, so... So I'm fractionally over. Fractionally over. <laughs> I'd say marginally. <laughs> but if I'd like to start today, have you got somebody who can show me the ropes? Yes, Dan. Um, we've got a guy, Craig Deploy, who is one of the sort of coaches for young up-and-coming jockeys, especially in the work riders ranks. And um, he was an ex-jockey once upon a time, a, re a really um, good jockey, and hopefully uh, he can show you the ropes today. Uh, what's your jockey background, Craig? Look, I rode for the best part of 28 years. Unfortunately, I had to give up due to injury, but um, I've dedicated my time to teaching the grooms how to, to ride horses every day. So you've got two wonderful candidates to join your roster of students today. Jono was quite negative. He didn't seem to think that Stuart and myself were the ideal candidates. I'd like to think he was wrong. Yeah, I think we can prove him wrong. I've uh, got something to start you off on and we'll, we'll see how it goes from there. What's, uh, what's going to be the key for Stuart and I to become world-class jockeys? Probably a dietitian to start <laughs> off with. And then uh, maybe just uh, uh, balance is the key, I think, and uh, rhythm on the little mechanical horse, and then we'll, we'll move up from there. Are they going to chuck you off? What's, what's the deal? Are they going to bite you? Well, uh, yeah, I mean, the horses can, you can fall off. Um, uh, I think you have signed your form of indemnity already, so we're okay there. I think your biggest problem will be getting into your silks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing very well. <laughs> you did say a dietitian is required. There we go. Thumbs up. Just ensuring that our journey to jockey greatness is off to a good start. Mm, that's good. Right, so here is our mechanical horse. It looks fairly passive and oh. not too challenging. Very quiet, shouldn't fall off this one. <laughs> All right, how does it work? As you can see, the stirrups are quite short, so you'll have to be in a crouching position. Okay. Yep. Just a gentle... So we start off, keep your feet flat and your body straight, so we quite balanced. Um, this is just off at a gentle canter. 
This is gentle. <laughs> okay. It is gentle. That's a good thigh workout there. Yep. Yeah. There you can start picking it up. Okay. A little bit harder. That's an arm workout. Change your yeah. arm. So for an entire race, you're not actually sitting down, you're standing the whole way through. You're not sitting at all. And uh, as you can see, it's quite a cardio workout on the arms yeah. and the legs. That's the whole uh, week's who's first? workout. Okay, here we go. Balance the Pilates. Just get this thing now. Uh, we can't. The first of the open. Come on, boy. Right down. Come on! And they cross! <laughs> this is way more comfy to sit. Have you guys tried it seated? This is all about balance and precision. <clears throat> Two things I'm synonymous with. Come on. I don't know if I'm training to be a jockey or an adult movie star. Oh, I think I'm covering both, really. <laughs> so there we go. And to think, John O'Snaith suggested I wouldn't be a natural. I think I've just proved him wrong. Um, <laughs> my legs are shaking a bit there. Uh, Stuart's looking very composed. What are your thoughts, coach? How do we do? Well, Stuart looked very, very confident. Uh, I think you. you guys did well. Pretty natural, nice Thank balance, you. bit of stamina concerns, but all in all, not too bad. And this is obviously way, way harder than riding a natural horse. No, no, this is a lot easier than riding a natural <laughs> horse. Do you think after just one session that we're ready to actually get on a real horse? Not really, no. <laughs> <laughs> so we've tried the mechanical horse. Both of us absolutely nailed it clearly. So let's jump on the real thing.